Hey everyone, Andy here. I'm up on the roof of Able City in New York uh, I'm with here with uh, Jeff Lee, who's behind the F3, uh, and behind me is uh, uh, the beautiful New Jersey. Uh, so uh, today uh, we're doing the sort of third part of our S-Log series, and that's sort of more of a practical demonstration of what S-Log can do. Uh, so to do this sort of test, I, th I went ahead and set up the camera, the F3, uh, with my range profile and just regular mode. So this is the camera, the stock camera mode right now that you're seeing. And I'm pretty underexposed because I'm basically putting, my, putting myself in a scenario where I'm you know, in, in the shadows with a high contrast background. That's a, a very hard scenario to handle with any kind of camera really. So I put myself in that situation on purpose in order to give you an idea uh, of how the camera can handle highlights even in the regular mode. So here I am uh, in picture profile mode. My face is about 50 uh, percent-ish in, in terms of uh, you know, IRE and back in the back there I'm just almost clipping at 109 percent so uh, that's what I'm set to right now uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and step over into the highlights here so you can see how also how the camera handles uh, about 100 percent in my face and again some shadows in the background so you see that difference in the raw mode so right now you're seeing uh, just that flat mode no a lot applied if we want to apply a uh, lookup table uh, to it or a change in post a grade we can do that just like, like that, boom, magic of post. And here I am uh, again now, same exact mode, range profile uh, with a, a, a correction applied uh, in Resolve uh, to get myself looking a little bit better. So this is what the camera can do out of the box. It's pretty amazing by itself. Uh, but I'm gonna go have, go have Jeff switch over to S-Log mode uh, in order to uh, see the difference. Now, we're gonna keep the ISOs the same. Right now we're shooting 800 ISO. Uh, and then when, when then we go to S-Log, we're going to stay at 800 ISO, just so you know the difference. So uh, same stop, same everything. So Jeff, go ahead and, and switch over. And we're back, ta-da, S-Log. So this is S-Log, very flat as you can see. Uh, it's trying to give us the most out of the sensor. And right away, uh, from, the, from the difference between the previous profile and the S-Log mode, you're going to notice how uh, the highlights are being handled. It's a, a nice soft roll off into highlights, which I really do like. It's very impressive. Uh, even though the, uh, the range profile does handle that well, I think S-Log handles it better. And also just obviously there's, there's more information back there to start with. So here I am in S-Log. I'll step over into the highlights again. See the difference there as well. And back. And now I'll put a, a lookup table on that, a, a grade on that as well. Ta-da. And uh, you see what it can do. So uh, S-Log. Uh, it does have a lot of advantages, again, in the highlights, how it handles highlights, the roll off to, into bright colors, etc. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Uh, we're recording all of this to the Gemini 444, so we can really test this footage. It's uh, uncompressed DPX files it's creating, so uh, there's no disadvantage across the board. Uh, and so it's a good test, uh, but we also want to do some more shots up here on the roof uh, of the cityscape. Uh, so you can check those out right after this. Thanks for watching and enjoy the clips.